You know, I've been hearing about this new drug called Blixa. You heard the side effects are sleepwalking and you might get in trouble with the police and take your psychiatrist down with you. Side effects. Side effects is the last movie by director Steven Soderbergh, who directed Contagion and Aaron Brockovich. This one stars Rooney Marr as Emily Taylor, a woman who is depressed because her husband was taken away to prison for insider training. Played by Chan Tatum, he just got out of prison, and she ends up going to see the psychiatrist named Dr. Dr. Jonathan Banks, played by Jude Law. And before she was seeing another psychiatrist, Dr. Victoria Siebert, played by Catherine Zeta-Jones. Very sexy. And she's prescribed a drug for her depression, a Blixa, because she tried to kill herself in one scene uh, by driving a car into a wall. And the, the Oblixa has some interesting side effects. One of them is sleepwalking. And w during one of these side effects of sleepwalking, she does something that gets herself in trouble with the police. Not going to say what. Uh, the trailer does give it away, though. But I'm not going to say I'm not going to say everything about it because it's a big spoiler, and I don't want to give that away. <laughs> and. The trouble she gets in, the, gets in with the police actually br not only brings her down, but begins to bring down Jude Law's character, Dr. Jonathan Banks, as well. Which really brings up some good plot twists in the movie. Like, oh wow, because I thought, I thought it was going to go in the direction of an anti-prescription drug deal, and then it went in an entirely different direction later on. It's just, whoa. <laughs> so that was really good. And Catherine Zeta-Jones was very good in the movie too. Uh, her, I guess, her role is uh, pretty much she was the previous psychiatrist, and that and Jonathan, and Jonathan Banks actually consults with her on how to deal with Emily Taylor, and it's really good. And Rudy Marr is fantastic in this, as good as she was in the Girl Dragon Tattoo. This is. Definitely another one of her great roles. I'm glad she was chosen for this role over. I heard Blake Lively was a, what, the original cast, and I'm glad she, Rooney Marr was taken for this one. Just, she really does a good job with this role, like she does with any role. <laughs> oh, wow. Chay Tatum is pretty good in this movie, too. The whole movie is very good. I really like this movie a lot. Definitely recommend this. I'm shocked that this movie only ranked number three in the box office, where Identity Thief uh, went actually number one in the box office for the opening weekend that they were out. Like, what? Of course, maybe the Blizzard uh, played a, a role in it. And maybe more, maybe the smart people that would have would have went to see side effects stayed home because of the Blizzard, <laughs> like myself. So, rating this baby. I'm gonna give this a 9.5. I really thought this was very good. Very high on a uh, high and a full price kind of deal. So, definitely a recommendation. So, definitely see side effects. 